Frank, come on, what are you doing? Frank. <laughs> Fucking, I'll build a state for the seducer and the seducee to live, vote, fucking breathe, pay taxes, and party till dawn. I'll teach fucking methods of language that will help anyone get a piece of ass, tit, or tail. I just realized <laughs> this is for television, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> I can't swear but now like I just did. That's okay. I warned you. I get on a roll. Let's talk more about your brother. Hey, Muffy. Coffee. I'm confused about your past is the thing. Is it still lingering? Just to clarify. So boring, so fucking useless. Well, I would want to clear a few things up. Thank you, Muffy. What do you think? Yeah. Funny thing is, it's an important element in seduce and destroy. Yeah. Facing the past is an important way of not making progress. Something that I tell my men over and over again. This isn't Try to get it. them to ask the question. What is it in need of? Are you asking me that? Yeah. Well, in trying to figure out who you are and how you may have become this maven of the mother. Maid of what? I'm saying, Frank, and trying to figure out who you are. Well, there's a lot more important things I like to put myself into. <laughs> it's all important, Frank. Not really. It's not like I'm trying to attack you. This is how you want to spend your time. <sighs> Go. Go. Go! You're gonna be surprised at what a waste it is. The most useless thing in the world is that which is behind me. Chapter three. We, we talked earlier about your mother and we talked about your father and his death. Now, I don't wanna be challenging or defeatist here, but I gotta clarify something. Something that I understand. I'm not sure I hear a question there. Well, I guess I guess the question is this. Do you remember a Miss Sims? I know a lot of women. And I'm sure she remembers me. Oh, she does. From when you were a boy. Mm -hmm. She lived in Tarzana? An old stomping ground. Is this the attack portion of the interview? Fucking, I knew this was coming sooner or later. Is the girl coming in for a kill? No, this is about getting something right. This is about clarifying an answer to a question that I asked you earlier. Go ahead, waste your time. I was told that your mother died. That your mother died when you were young. And that's what you heard. I talked to Miss Sims. Miss Sims was your neighbor and your caretaker when your mom died in 1980. See, according to my research, you are the only son of Earl and Lily Partridge. And what I learned from Miss Sims is that your mother died in 1980. See, it's my understanding that the information provided by you and your company and answers to questions that I ask are incorrect, Frank. And if I want to get to the bottom of who you are and why you are, then I think that your family history, your accurate family Are history, you going to ask me a question? The question is this. Do you remember a Miss Sims? <laughs> Good. 
What are we doing here, Frank? We're gonna have a staring contest? Should we just wrap this up, Chief? It's not like I'm trying to attack you, Frank. But I think if there's something that you need to clear up, well then... I was told that your father, and your father is Earl Partridge, that he left you and your mother. It was you that took care of her during her struggle with cancer. And then after your mother died, Miss Sims became your caretaker. Can you talk about your mother, Frank? Can you talk about your mom? Frank, can you talk about her? Talk to us about your mother. God, what are you doing, Frank? What Come on, doing? yes! What am I doing? I'm quietly judging you. That's what you did. Yeah, so one time I gave it to you. You made accusations and called me a liar. Then you said if you'd had known, you wouldn't have asked. And that is not an attack. I don't want to be the sort of fellow that doesn't keep his word. I gave you my time, bitch, so fuck you. Oh, you are hurting a lot of people, Frank. Oh. 